I'm a climatologist and I study extreme heat and its impacts on human health and well-being. We're gathered here to talk about collaboration between the city of Tempe and many partners, including ASU, in tackling extreme heat, uh, but both as a problem that, that's here today that we need to be concerned about and as a problem that we, we think is going to be growing over time as we have both urban and global driven warming. Uh, one of the most efficient strategies uh, to increase outdoor thermal comfort for pedestrians and bikers is actually to provide shade um, because air temperature does not vary a lot uh, within the city. So it's probably a couple of degrees or so, but what varies is how we experience those temperatures. And this experience is mainly driven by shade. And we've all, we've all experienced this. If you're under a tree, you feel up to 20 degrees cooler than if you're in, in the sun. Over the next five years, we plan to plant over 2,000 more trees to further cool our parks as well as our sidewalks. And as Arizona's densest city, we know that we need to invest in public transit, bus, rail, bike, pedestrian infrastructure. It's vital that we do so and that we have an urban design that really aims at creating a cool environment uh, for our residents. It's no secret that each year temperature continues to reach record highs and greater stresses are continuing to be put on our communities personally. And so it's really, the onus is on my generation to address climate change in this specific way and to really find solutions that are long term. And so overall we must tackle extreme heat together to make our valley cities cooler, healthier, uh, more thermally equitable uh, places to live. Oh, I think the, the good news is that we're already taking a lot of steps here in Tempe and the other, other cities in, in the valley. We're planting green roofs like the one that we're gathered here on today. We're painting roofs white to help, help cool the city. We know an incredible amount about how the, the urban climate works. And now it, it's, it, I'd say it's more so a matter of how do we move the needle in our public institutions, with residents, with businesses, to, to really build a, a collective movement toward a, a cooler future. I encourage young and old alike to come together and join ASU, defend our future, the city of Phoenix and the city of Tempe to really help combat extreme heat. We can all work together uh, to make Tempe and Arizona cool again. 